We're back with CNN political contributor Roland Martin and Republican strategist Rich Galen. Uh, but uh, let's first return to my interview with Mitt Romney uh, and that leaked comment he made back in May, basically writing off 47 percent of Americans whom he suggested are on the dole. At first, uh, the, the uh, Republican presidential nominee stood by those remarks. Then in recent days, he repudiated them, saying he was completely wrong. I asked him about that turnaround, the evolution. Uh, listen to this. Well, what I'm saying is that what the words were that came out were not what I meant. And what I mean, I think uh, people understand, is that if I'm president, I'll be president of 100 percent of the people. My whole campaign is about helping the middle class have rising incomes and more jobs and helping get people out of poverty into the middle class. That's what this whole campaign is about. The, the wealthy are doing fine right now, and they'll do fine, most likely, regardless of who's elected president. It's the middle class that's having a hard time under President Obama. And my campaign is about 100 percent of the American people. And so that, that's, uh, that describes why you know, what was stated in the tape was not referring to what kind of president I'd be or who I'd be fighting for. Instead, it was talking about politics. And it just didn't come out the way I meant it. If you, if you had a do-over, Governor, uh, and you mentioned 47 percent, what would you, what should you have said about that 47 percent? Well, Wolf, as you know, I was talking about uh, how do you get to 50.1 percent of the vote. I, I'd like to get 100 percent of the vote, but I figured that's not going to happen. So I was trying to tell contributors how I get to 50.1 percent. Uh, I, I think it, it's always a, a perilous course for a candidate to start talking about the, the, you know, the mathematics of an election. My campaign is about talking about how to get 100 percent of the Americans to have a more bright and, and prosperous future. All right, let's go back to Roland and Rich. Uh, why didn't he just say that on day one once this tape came out, Rich? Oh, I think it just, I mean, I think they were shocked. This was five, six months ago, whatever, however far back May is. And I just, they, they didn't have a good answer. In fact, I did ask why it took so long for them to kind of come up with something. But, you know, in this day and age, Roland, you, you would expect that, that professional politicians should expect that there are cameras, or, by the way, princesses should expect that there are cameras everywhere all the time. And you just have to be careful about what you say or what you wear. Rich, well, he had a good answer. He had a good answer, Wolf. He gave the answer the night uh, when uh, he addressed it. The problem is, and he doesn't want to be honest about it, and let's just be honest and not play games here. Oh, it's it. polling data. He saw the effect of those comments. When, and John King, his reporting has been uh, uh, spot on in Ohio. He got nailed when it came to working class white women, a group he was leading President Obama with. And so he had no choice but to recalibrate. That's why he had to say I was wrong. And so, Wolf, his answer is purely political. His true statement, his true feelings were what he said that night. I didn't hear him stumble. I didn't hear him stutter. He was quite clear. He said he was completely wrong, but that was only uh, the day after that first right. presidential debate. He didn't, uh, and, and the president obviously missed an opportunity. He didn't even yes, raise did. that 47 percent during that, that first debate. Uh, so That's here's the question to both polite. of you. Uh, and Rich, let me start with you. Uh, how should, in this, uh, in this vice presidential debate tomorrow night, uh, uh, Joe Biden deal with this 47 percent? And how should Ryan respond if he raises it? Oh, I think I think I, I think the the the, the uh, Chicago campaign, the Obama campaign is uh, understands that the strategy they had for that first debate was dreadful and they, and they won't do that again. And I do think that Biden will come out with the 47 percent and for good reason, because that's his, that's his base. Uh, Biden, uh, Biden, for all the other things he does and for all the other says things he says, does connect dramatically and perfectly with blue collar Americans. And I think he's going to bring that up again and again and again. Over the course of the 90 minutes for Ryan, he can he can go back to his background as well. He can he can play that pretty much to a tie. He doesn't have to defend what Romney said. He wasn't even the nominee. I mean, he wasn't the, the vice presidential pick then. And he could say, well, here's the way I would have said it. This is what I would have done. This is these are the people I want to talk to. So I think it'll be an interesting back and forth because their backgrounds are not that dissimilar. Sorry, Wolf, there. Expect Vice President Biden to nail him when you're talking about those auto workers. You're going to hear a lot of references to Scranton, Pennsylvania. You're going to hear him talking about those folks out there. Jobs were saved, not just the, not just GM, not just uh, the, uh, the Chrysler, but also uh, the suppliers as well. You're going to expect him to, to force Congressman Ryan to defend Romney's positions, which also some of them are counter 
to where Ryan stands. Expects the Ryan budget to come up. Catholic nuns, Catholic bishops opposing those cuts to the poor. Expect that $716 billion with Medicare to come up as well. Trust me, Ryan is going to have to defend his positions, and Biden will be a lot more tougher on him than the president million was. people on food stamps, Roland. 46 I understand million that. Americans I, I understand that. And stamps. also, 31 consecutive months of private sector job growth, that's going to come out. And the question is going to be, how will Congressman Ryan's plans decimate early childhood education, decimate higher education? No, it Expect doesn't decimate education. What it does, it decimates, no, that's a, not true. It decimates a program of hiring teachers, but it no. doesn't necessarily improve education. That's oh, the but difference. Has, but Mitt Romney in the last debate said he loved teachers. And so now Ryan is going to say, let's cut teachers? No, Which one is it, going to say he wants to improve education, not just oh, Yeah, but if you say cut teachers, not, no. it doesn't work well. Well, how do you, you want to improve education? Show that, yes, it does. If you look at, if you look at uh, charter schools, that's actually improving education. If your job some, is just to hire some. teachers, then you can do that. If you want to improve education, you have to expand right. your thinking. Well, I I've broken down their education plans on my TV One show, and trust me, the Ryan budget decimates the education budget. <laughs> it is not as clear and you, Romney, frankly. You, I know you'll understand if I don't do that. You, you guys are doing an excellent debate right now. Uh, I'm sure there'll be an excellent debate tomorrow night as well. Uh, Roland, Rich, guys, thanks very much. Thanks, Phil.